Hey everyone, it's Tawny. It's vlog Tawny. Um, I wanted to get on and chit chat a little bit because I might be posting this vlog. Although I think I have a video that's going to be going up tomorrow. It's my top five blushes, so stay tuned for that. You might see that before you see this one. And this one, when this one might become irrelevant whenever I post it because we're supposed to get a huge snowstorm tomorrow. And I follow a girl on YouTube called Lex Play. She's with like Animal Crossing and like other gaming, but mainly Animal Crossing. And she said that she wasn't sure she'd be able to do a live stream because they're supposed to get snow and they could be without power for days or a week or up to a week or multiple like past a week, you know, like not two weeks, but like close to two weeks. And I was like, oh my gosh, like what if she lives near me? Like I've been panicky about this storm upcoming. But the pro, like, I've been, like, here or there. Because we were supposed to only get snow tomorrow. And then, all of a sudden, we're getting all these alerts starting, like, yesterday about a snowstorm through Friday at, like, 6 a.m. So then we're like, okay, what's going on? So then the one woman at work that I share an office with has been checking the weather, like, every five minutes. Which is, like, setting me into, like, a whole big panic. Because, like, then it keeps, like, I keep getting alerts about this weather. And she said that we were supposed to get 8 to 12 inches, 3 to 5 inches, somewhere in that ballpark, maybe up to like 20 some inches, we're not really sure. So I was like preparing for, I had seen 12 to 18, so that's what I was like preparing for, which is a lot of snow. Like if you think 12 inches is a foot, so that's a lot of snow. Like if you think about like trying to dig it up and get, get all of it like out of, you know, the pathway of where you drive slash walk on the sidewalk it's a lot of snow so I've been like slowly panicking and the more I've gotten these alerts the more I've gotten worried which I try not to worry myself until it happens because there's nothing you can do until you're in the middle of it and then you kind of just have to wait for it to stop then go out and shovel and deal with the aftermath of it and all that stuff so we are supposed to get it starting tonight at 10 so I went out, I had dinner with my boyfriend, did a little bit of grocery shopping, got some things that I need to help me with, um, to help me like get through the snowstorm because we're not working tomorrow. I'm going to be working from home because they already closed down our, where I work at, which is a little bit alarming considering that they never close but i think in the last like year or two places especially with like the virus and everything going on have started to close things more so than they used to which kind of worries me but then also at the same time makes me feel better because i hate driving in snow my car does not do well in snow like it just makes me feel better to not have to drive like try to get out in it plus where i work at we like have to park on a super steep hill and i've heard stories of cars sliding in the ice and I can't always get a parking spot at the bottom of the hill. So it always worries me that like I'm not going to be able to get one of those spots and that I won't be able to like park because I tried to park in the upper parking lot, which is all gravel. Like you can park on the hill or in the upper parking lot. And I tried to park there once and I ended up like I had to floor it to get out of there, which is not a very safe thing to do, especially if you have to like get out onto a road and Chad. What's your problem? My cat will like play for like five seconds, then just start screaming like he's in pain. You're not doing anything to be in pain. What are you crying for? And then he'll look at me as if like I'm supposed to know what's wrong with him. He's fine. Don't worry guys, he's fine. But I had to like floor it to get out onto like the road and the people that go up the hill fly up the hill to make it up the hill so I get it. But like they still go way too fast so I'm always worried that like trying to park up there and it's just a big whole thing. So I'm really glad that I don't have to go to work tomorrow. Friday's still an issue. We'll see how that goes. But um, so yeah, so I'm kind of just like dreading tomorrow because it says that we're supposed to get snow from like 10 or 11 tonight until like 8 p.m. tomorrow. And that's kind of where like my weather thing stops, like on my phone. If I were to go into like weatherchannel.com or something, then it would show like more times throughout tomorrow. But it just says that like 70%, 50%, 90%. And I'm like freaking out because then I'm like, okay, then I'm gonna be stuck at home and it's gonna suck. The last time my boyfriend was able to come over, so that was kind of nice that like I had somebody with me on that day that I was off. But it kind of sucks whenever I'm here by myself because it's just me and my cat. And even if I could get my car out, I can't always go to my parents' house because there's never any parking. So 
because they have to park on the street and they usually get plowed in and the spot that I park in usually becomes a snow mound because of all the snow that's been shoveled into the road and whatnot. But so I'm trying to de-stress. I started doing this Formula 1006 mud mask or it's the Bee Berry Fresh Balancing Mud Mask with Bilberry and Nirali. Don't know how to say it, but it smells very good and it's very relaxing. It burned a little bit going on, but it's been fine ever since. So I was like, I'll get out of the shower. I was like, I'll make sure I get a shower. So that way I don't have to shower in the middle of the snowstorm. If the power goes out at the, you know, hot water tank can't do whatever, blah, blah, blah. So then I was like, then I'll make sure whatever clothes I need are washed. So all my clothes are washed. I made sure that like I have some food in case I can't cook or something, which really shouldn't be a problem but I do have leftovers and stuff that I can eat so that I'm not too concerned with that. And I have plenty of blankets and sweatshirts in case the power does go out. But part of me, if the power does go out, wants to go to my parents' house, just so like I'm at my parents' house, but they don't have a generator. So that kind of like stinks. And I'm trying to make sure all my devices are charged. That's the big thing. So in case anything does happen, I can like call for help or whatever. Or I can like communicate with the outside world because I know at some point I'm going to get like so bored and I have some books to read but I have to get them out of my storage area because I haven't gotten them out since I moved here. So I do have some things to do. I have work to do for tomorrow in case we don't it, like it's not so bad and I can still at least work and do my job because I told my boss that I'd like to work from home so I can get paid and get some stuff done because I do have some like I wanted to watch some webinars tomorrow that I didn't get a chance to watch today at work. So that'll give me a chance, like something I can do from home easily, but, and hopefully I can do a makeup video tomorrow, weather permitting, because if the weather's out, I'm not even going to bother, because it's kind of like just too much going on, even though it'll be nothing going on, but I bought a bunch of new makeup, I bought like five lip liners at Ulta tonight, because I needed some lip liners, and they finally at my Ulta have Essence, like fully in stock on the shelf, and their lip liners are $1.99. So I bought like five of them. And then I bought one from NYX because I saw a shade that I liked that didn't have the Essence one. And the NYX ones were like $4. So I got a couple of them. And then I have some other makeup from Walmart that I've recently picked up that I want to try as well. So hopefully I'll be able to do a full face of new makeup that can go up sometime next week. But yeah, so, oh, and when I was at the market, I picked up a container of feta cheese it's crumbled because they didn't have any in like the block but my boyfriend said that you can still use the crumbled kind because I want to make the viral TikTok feta pasta thing which I saw on Facebook so it's not technically a TikTok thing if you saw it on Facebook even though it's from TikTok but that's how I watch all my TikTok videos because I don't have TikTok I refuse to download it and refuse to be a part of it even though I feel like I'd really enjoy doing this stuff but it just makes me feel better to not have it. So I bought that and I have all the other stuff to make it with. And I figured that could be an easy one night meal. And I can even have that for like a second for like lunch and or dinner of the next day. So I'm very excited about that. So yeah, things are going pretty well. As long as we don't lose power and I can stay warm in my apartment, that'll be fine. I like to keep the heat down in my apartment only because it raises my electricity bill and I don't like to pay that much in electricity if I can help it. So I always keep my bedroom cold with the door shut so it stays fairly cold. I keep the second bedroom cold because nobody uses it except for the cat for his litter box. I don't turn the heat on in the bathroom because there's no point because I always have the door shut and I just go shower, pee and do whatever, wash my hands and all of that. And then like my main living room, I keep comfortable, but not overly hot. So then I'm thinking if the power does go out, should I make it hot? So that way I can prepare, but that's not gonna do me much good because if, especially if I go in and out to shovel and stuff, that's gonna bring all the cold air in and I can't block off the steps to keep anything from coming up the steps. So that's a little bit of a problem. So I'm not quite sure what, and then they say, I read on Twitter for all the people down south that have all the weather currently that like we're now going to be getting, hopefully it won't be quite as bad because we don't need any more like casualties and things, but they had said to make a room, your like heat room and keep the door shut and go in there if you're cold or if you have to sleep or whatever. So I was gonna do that in my bedroom, but the problem is in my bedroom, I like to sleep cold. So then I was like, I don't know how it's gonna work. Do I like turn the heat on and just deal with it tonight, turn the fan on? But then I'm like, that's just so much work just to like have a heat room. And I'm like, what if it doesn't even need to come to that? 
So I don't really know what I'm going to do. I'm just kind of like figuring things out as I go, honestly, because with the weather, you never know what's going to happen. And I keep telling people, I wish we would have had Back to the Future Part 2 predicted whenever they went to 2015, is that the weatherman, you know, predicts the weather down to the minute, down to the second, you know, all of that stuff. So it'd be nice if that were the case, but it is not. So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're staying safe. Please don't go out if you don't have to. Please wear your mask, wash your hands. Don't lick or cough on other people. I don't really know, like, that should be common sense. But, you know, people are dumb and they do things that they shouldn't do. And then we have all these problems. And then we have an uproar in cases because people don't want to behave themselves. So, yeah. Oh, and don't put Gorilla Glue in your hair. Be because it can ruin your hair. And then you have to shave it all off and then there you are. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And ring the notification bell down below so you get notified of when I upload. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.